Hello, Geminis. This is your reading for the 21st to the 22nd. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe. I'm going to pull your energy, and then we're going to see who's lurking around you, whose energy is coming towards you, and then what it is that they want. All right? So let's see what's going on with you guys for today. What's going on with Gemini today? The Hanging Man. I'm feeling that a lot of you guys are at this moment of stasis. Before you um, get up and continue on a certain path or choose a different direction. Um, there's something that you're contemplating though. Something you're thinking about. And I think that whatever has happened before this moment... That is what you're contemplating on, either revisiting that or moving forward. Right now, you're not doing anything, but you're definitely thinking about, um, you know, something, some event that happened, okay, or events. The Emperor. Maybe it's regarding a Pisces or an Aries individual here. Somebody's not taking any action towards you, um, maybe just standing their ground, not doing anything, okay. I think this person definitely, you know, this emperor's not sitting down. So I think definitely this person will um, respond, but I don't think they will initiate anything here. Okay. Then we have the star. I'm getting that this person you feel, um, either they feel or you guys feel like this, that this person is your destiny. Okay. And maybe this person has always felt like that. But I think that's what you're kind of contemplating right now. You're thinking about this. Maybe at some point this person has said something to you about being a soulmate, um, you know, being for each other, meant to be, something like that. And you guys maybe brushed it off at one point even. But I think now you're taking notice of that. Um, what just flipped out here is the Seven of Swords, okay? Maybe at some point either this person left you or you left them, okay? And when, when this happened, there was no emotional thought behind it. It was all about like, you know, what is best for me? What's my best move to make? It's almost like strategizing, okay? So there was a plan here that was set in motion um, that left you guys feeling stuck. Whether you did this or someone else did this to you, okay? Then we have the Seven of Pentacles there. This person's definitely um, feeling like they have invested enough in this situation. And um, they're not, at this point, willing to wait around or invest anymore. Okay? They're wanting to spend their time somewhere else. But I definitely feel like this person is expecting you guys. And I'm, I'm getting this. I got this for Taurus as well. But this is a Taurus energy. Okay? Somebody that you had lots and lots of arguments with, I feel, um, maybe even physical fights. Does not have to be that, but definitely a lot of conflict where you guys did not see eye to eye is what I'm getting here, okay? Um, and I'm getting that, you know, there is some conflict within this individual as well because there again, I feel this person feels like you guys are their soulmate, okay? They feel like you're their soulmate. And, um, but at this point, they're preparing to invest elsewhere. Let's see why the Seven of Swords is here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Or, and whoever left, I feel like um, went to invest somewhere else. Whoever the Seven of Swords energy is pertaining to um, went in search of something that they felt like uh, was better for them, better suited for them. Their time would have been spent better somewhere else. Whoever this is, okay? Let's see what was happening. Why did the Seven of Swords energy show up here? Hmm. Somebody just feels like they've been hurt and they were stagnant for a while. They thought about this for a while and felt like this was best for them. Whoever this is, okay? They were disappointed in a situation and they felt like they, this situation was no longer serving them. 
but they didn't use their emotions there were there were no feelings like attached to this um it was all about like reasoning almost almost opportunistic kind of energy here where um somebody probably was not being fulfilled intellectually on a mental level because i don't see any cups here okay so let's see who's actually coming towards you guys here who's coming towards gemini please show me who's coming towards gemini who's coming towards gemini We have the Page of Swords, somebody that is seeking information somewhere else. Um, yeah. Huh. Hmm. This person feels like they already know the truth here. Whoever this is, I'm feeling like they already know the truth. Okay. They're not in search of anything. They they know what they know, and that's just it. Hmm. Let's see what do they want from Gemini. What do they want from Gemini? The Eight of Swords in reverse. Huh. Uh -huh. Let me pull another card here. <laughs> I'm feeling like this person is like waiting for you guys. They're waiting for you to come back. They're waiting for you to come with the same shit is what I'm getting here. And and that's just what, what is coming out. They feel like you guys left them in a lurch um that you deceive them that you lie to them and if you notice look at this card this is them feeling trapped okay but look at this side this is somebody laying in wait you see the the vulture up there that is symbolic of how they're viewing you okay and See the sword that they have right here? They're not bound. This person's not bound. They're waiting for the vulture to get close enough so they can cut the shit out of them, okay? So that's what they want. I'm feeling like they want to let you guys have it. They have, a, they have an inkling that you are coming back. Um, and when you come back, they feel like you were leaving someone else the same way that you left them. Because they feel like they, they, they know you. They know your game. Is what I'm getting from this, guys. Um, so be mindful. So it could be another Gemini like yourself. Aquarius, Piscean energy here. Um, Aries, Taurus, Leo, and Libra. Alright, guys. So that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you soon.